a very warm welcome to each and every one of you students welcome back to st xavier's e class i hope you all are safe and sound and you have enjoyed yourselves well in the diwali holidays and prepared for yourselves well for the study of first semester so now let's move on to our second semester with chapter 9 be good mannered part 2 in the previous lesson we have studied about how we should behave on certain occasions like uh, we learned about four magic words isn't it we also learned about postures how to sit in different places isn't it we have also studied the importance of being good mannered in this lesson we shall study how we should behave in certain occasions like if we are in school so how we should behave if we are uh, at the dining table so how we should behave with our friends or we should mind our words before we speak out isn't it so let's start with the topic mind your word mind your words spoken words are the expressions of what is going on in our minds that is true understood whatever is going in your mind you speak out jesus said from the fullness of heart mouth speaks now what do you mean by fullness of heart it means an overwhelming abundance of emotion whether it is negative or positive means it's a kind of feeling emotion that you have in your heart whatever your heart feels understood whether it may be positive or negative negative you speaks out negative things which may hurt people if positive good you speak out good things and the opposite people or opposite person will feel good so we should take extreme care in the use of words when we talk we should learn to talk politely using polished words polished means very clear words understood nobody likes rude and insulting words understood we like to insult someone but we don't take it on us isn't it so we should be very careful we should not use any kind of abusive language or vulgar language which may hurt people or our relatives or our friends wounds caused by rude words the injury wounds means injury understood that is caused by rude words not physical but mental understood mental injury are difficult to heal it is very difficult to get heal understood to get cure so you should be very because once you speak out you can't take it back na so you should be very careful understood when you speak to someone abusive language degrades your stature means abusive means bad language degrades brings down your level understood degrades your stature means bring down your level it shows your family background your culture so you should be very crystal and clear you should use polished words whenever you speak to someone when you talk to somebody do not raise your voice you should give respect this should be followed strictly when you are talking with your elders or teachers no problem if you are talking to your very near and dear ones your friends best friends no problem you raise your voice no problem okay because they are your friends after all but when you talk to your elders or teachers you should be very careful always be firm in your mind what you want to speak be very firm understood very determined in your mind what you want to speak what you want to make clear but very gentle in your words firmness should be in your heart not in your voice in your voice in your voice should be very gentle avoid all kinds of slangs that is very vulgar languages understood and bad words 
physical attack is something that should be avoided at any cost so physical attack it should be avoided understood we should not attack someone physically now it is said your freedom ends at the nose of the other now what what this proverb means it means that you are free to do as you wish as long as it does not go against on another person's right understood you don't have right to speak uh, or to criticize about anyone there your freedom gets over understood the opposite person will also feel bad understood then fighting begins understood all kind of issues controversies begins so in order to avoid all these things you should be very careful when you speak out words from your mouth next at the dining table very important at the dining table okay so how we should behave at the dining table another place where we should take care of our manners is the dining table there are lakhs of children who are dying every minute at different places in the world due to malnutrition malnutrition means deficiency understood scarcity of food because they don't have enough of food lack of sufficient food lack of sufficient food means insufficient food they don't have enough food to eat and because of that they become the victim of malnutrition understood so do not waste your food take what is needed avoid gluttony gluttony means greediness overeating understood you should take whatever is needed do not stuff the mouth bhar ke apna muh bhar ke food mat dalna understood chew your food properly chaba ke khana avoid talking and laughing while eating that is bad habit keep your mouth closed while chewing you should not make noise understood some uh, i have seen some of uh, some of the children what they do while eating they make noise understood while chewing they make noise that is that is very bad actually children you should chew food closing your mouth without making noise eat slowly and calmly understood that is that shows the manner the right manner eat slowly don't be very greedy as if you have not seen food from many days okay so eat slowly and calmly shanti se hello now what is this hello hello we know oh, we say hi hello isn't it so let's see in what occasion we should use this word the way you speak on a phone reveals what do you mean by reveals khulasa karna isn't it it discloses your personality the way you speak on a phone while using the telephone there is an etiquette to be followed certain rules to be followed understood that is what we mean by etiquette etiquette means uh, principle understood ek reet hota hai when you make the call to somebody you should introduce yourself first after saying hello hello like how you will introduce hello i am shivam may i talk to neeraj using the words like call even i have also experienced the same thing i make a call and then some people say call a call bol raha hai kon understood so this should not happen you should be very polite here also who is speaking etc is not good manners if you are receiving the call then also introduce yourself after saying hello understood when you are receiving someone's call at that time also you say hello understood the opposite person also will say hello you too also should say hello instead of saying using con who is speaking understood if you can't recognize the person who is attending your call sometimes some stranger calls so if, if you you are not well aware with that person understood then ask politely be polite don't become violent so then how you will ask may i know who is speaking if you are unaware about that person you you should use this word may i know who is speaking understood if you are attending a call on behalf of somebody 
then you should ask politely understood obviously that call is not for you for someone else you should ask politely is there any message you want to convey maybe that person is not there on behalf of that person you are receiving the calls you should ask can if if there is there any message you can convey to that person okay so if the caller is unwilling if sometimes the caller is unwilling to reveal because he want to give that message to that person only not to someone else understood so if the caller is unwilling if he does not want if the caller does not want to reveal his or her identity then it is better don't insist okay don't force to kon hai understood kya hai tere ko bolne mein understood don't insist don't force them it may be some some near and dear one he want to give message to that person only so okay fine if that person is not that you said oh he is not available here um, he will he or she will call you later understood do not use foul language or vulgar talks on the phone do not send vulgar messages or dirty comments from your mobile to anybody always end the call with a thank you or bye third most uh, important occasion is in the class there is etiquette etiquette means rules principles to be followed in your class too show respect to your teacher by standing up when she enters the class or leaves the class that is the respect you are giving to the teacher isn't it you should stand and whenever she enters or whenever she leaves the class greet the teacher when she comes in wish her understood good morning good afternoon or thank you while greeting the teacher or talking to the teacher always stand up and talk you might have also um, heard from the teacher saying that stand whenever you talk to teacher or to principal or to your or to sisters isn't it that is the respect you are showing to them that is the etiquette that is the principle understood if you are showing your class work to the teacher stand up first do not shout in the class understood good students don't shout in the class understood that you are showing indiscipline when your teacher is not in the class keep silence she must have gone for some work so you should keep silence in the class as your shouting will disturb other classes other classes their classes going on and if you make noise when teacher is not there then that won't be a proper etiquette or manner you are showing to other children understood do not squat on the bench in the class squat means taking both the legs and sitting on the bench that is not good manner that is not the way we have learned this in uh, last chapter part 1 isn't it posture we have learned in that topic we have learned how to sit in different places you may squat on the floor but not on the bench or a chair there may be a chair for teacher in your class reserve it for the teachers use that is only for teachers use not for you to play with it do not sit on your teacher's chair the chalks and blackboard in the class are things meant to be used by the teachers it is not for your purpose it is only for the teacher to use the blackboard and chalk to make you things easy to make you uh, explain very nicely understood when you go out of class in a group to the lab or library or playground always go out in a line this if you remember our father principal isn't it our father principal has always has also always insisted on moving in line whenever we are going to library or assembly understood he always has said to be disciplined understood by moving in line understood whenever you go or whenever you come you should be in line your classroom is a holy place understood it is a very sacred place you must have heard that school ek mandir hai understood where you come to gain knowledge so you should not dirty your class 
there will be a dustbin in your class yes we have got in each classes we have got dustbin so you should make use of it instead of throwing instead of making your class very unhygienic and dirty put the waste paper in it when you sharpen your pencil use the waste box to deposit the waste another important occasion is public places so let's read and understand how to behave in public places public places are our common property it's not a private property because it's used by all every indian citizen has got right to use public places we have a duty to protect them when you go for a tour to ancient monuments ancient monuments means old buildings understood like taj mahal qutub minar jhumta minar etc do not disfigure this big figure means do not spoil the appearance of monuments understood or the look of the monument bigadna nahi hai by scrolling on them scrolling means scribbling understood by writing something on them because it's public property and it plus it's given by our ancestors so we should maintain its dignity understood and it's a rich cultural heritage given by our ancestors you might have seen people spitting on the road spitting means thookna avoid spitting in public places some people i have seen they spit anywhere they like they don't see where they are or which place is meant for what remember that public places are not your lavatory or urinal lavatory means toilet it's not a toilet place that wherever you feel you do it when you are buying a ticket or getting into a bus or train stand in a queue that is the etiquette understood so you should stand in a queue rather than making crowd or pushing each other do not throw waste in uh, public places and dirty them you might have seen people litter bus stations litter means waste they buy things from there and they use it they have it and they throw there itself bus stations and railway stations railway tracks have become the dirtiest places because you throw everything from the window understood then it has become the dirtiest places spreading different kinds of diseases contagious diseases if in your housing society you may have seen people dumping uh, kitchen waste dumping means throwing kitchen waste out on the road and channeling channeling means sending out throwing out waste water from their bathroom to the public roads children you might have seen uh, one uh, door to door policy one door to door policy has come understood a, a kind of a truck which moves from house to house lifting garbage understood so in spite after being so much of arrangement we don't make use of those things i have seen people throwing garbage around even though the garbage truck is coming from house to house they don't put people don't put garbage in that instead they throw around so this is a bad habit na a civilized person will never do such things if you are a cultured understood if you are an educated person you will not do such things remember to deposit waste at the place provided for that garbage truck is coming there you throw in that na why to throw around here and there and make the public road very dirty so please pay attention to all these etiquettes and try to implement these etiquettes into your life and save our india from being dirty that's all for today read it see you next time